Mark, another tough lesson, 2-0 defeat against Stockport County today. What's your thoughts after that? Yeah, again, they made it difficult for us. Um, again, probably a little bit repeated at Wrexham where we've worked our socks off, tried to be solid, tried to keep our shape, tried to stay in the game and a couple of moments of naivety, a couple of moments of indecision has, has cost us and uh, you can't have them moments against uh, quality opposition. Um, they've punished us, they've probably exposed a couple of areas that we need to work on so we will definitely be looking to do that, carry on working hard. The, the job never changes, we've got to keep, keep working hard, keep wanting to improve. Um, but also learn the lessons and again you know it's a similar conversation the last few weeks um, but there's we've got two weeks now and we've got to make sure we arrive in a better place than we do standing here today. Obviously three changes are made from the side that lost 4-1 against Wrexham so the guys that have come in have looked to amend the defeat against Wrexham and maybe it hasn't quite worked out how you like it to today. No because we've, we've lost the game but everyone's well used here, you know, we've got a, a squad, everyone's been called upon, everyone's getting minutes, everyone's getting opportunities. We're now looking for people to grab that shirt, grab hold of it, not give it back to anyone. Um, so we're getting to the business end of the season and this is where we're going to have to see the fruits of our work now. We're going to have to people to stand up and be counted. This is, you know, this is a man's game now. We're going to find out who the, who the men are around us and this is where, you know, careers are won and lost. Of course, it was two first-half goals that have won Stockport County the game, and it would have been disappointing given that you know going into the game the preparation would have been done, and to give them those two goals are you know soft goals to be honest. Yeah, it is, and I think there's probably been the the nature of the last month that we've given soft goals away. You know, we've done it at Barnet here, we've done it away at Grimsby, and on the whole we're solid and quite hard to break down. But that doesn't mean anything because the lads are giving everything for the cause. But if you switch off, there's no point doing all the work and then not delivering at the end of it. It's, um, it's, it's a frustrating time for us, but one, if we stick together, uh, keep believing in the process, keep believing in the training, uh, one will come out for stronger four. Of course, uh, several you know, formation changes and positional changes were made. Obviously, you went two up top for a little bit with Jacob and Ryan as well, but it just didn't quite work out how we'd like it to today. Yeah, Stockport stretched us and moved us, and we, with the goals going in, we, we had to make some tactical changes and tweaks to try and... Um, stop their dominance, um, and at times it worked. We had we we had openings, but it's too many ooh moments. It's like we get the opening and poor exit pass, bad decision making, or and um, that, that's that's costing us at the moment. So uh, we've we've got to be brave. We've got to be bright. We've got to take the shackles off a little bit. We're playing inhibited at the moment. We've got to be we've got to be brave. And um, I said this is this is what reveals reveals your character now um, and what we're about. So. Uh, you know, we've been we've been down before, you know, low and, and hurting, and we've come back out fighting, and we've got to show that spirit again. Because that was my next point. Obviously, it's frustrating to lose a game, but given that we're going into it with the defensive mindset to, you know, hand strong defensively, to lose a game 2 0, it will be disappointing today, but something will bounce back from, I'm sure. Yeah, as we've got to do. This, this game's gone now. We can only learn the lessons for it and, and use it to fuel our fire to react quicker and stronger. Like I said, you play against quality like this. But this is the games we want. This is who we want to be playing against because they will test you and they'll show up where we need to work on. There's no hiding place. There's no hiding place in this league. It's, just, it's stand up and be counted now. Of course, you mentioned players being used. Obviously, Alfie Saunders signed a new deal today, an extended deal. Any reason why he wasn't included today? Um, obviously, when we looked at Stockport, they had a lot of a lot of crossing, a lot of aerial um, threat with the crossing, and the uh, so we decided to go for probably our biggest back five that we've uh, managed to put out there and, th and that, that was the thing behind that one. It's nothing against him of course, obviously you know he's a young lad, a lot of future ahead of him and hopefully he'll look to get involved more often in the future. Yeah absolutely, I think uh, you know Alfie's done ever so well since he's come in, since, hence the, the contract extension um, but we just felt tactically today we were going to have to defend a lot of crosses, defend that back post uh, which we did do well for the lion's share apart from you know what you know twice and we've been punished twice so um, you know that's the nature of the game. Like I said, everyone gets an opportunity, everyone should be fighting for the shirt. And uh, I said at the moment, maybe the, the shirt's a little bit open and uh, it's up to people to take it. Bit of a break now till our next game with Bromley game next week being postponed. Is there any plans for that free week or anything like that? Yeah, well, look, we've got two weeks now. So again, it's going to be um, hard work on the training ground. There's, there's hopefully got a couple of games penciled in as well to um, for, for Kevin Locko to build his minutes up because again, a few more older, wiser heads around is, is probably what we need at the moment, and we've ha haven't had that all season. It was 
one of the older teams that we've probably been able to put out there today and there's probably three players who have played more than 40 games at this level uh, potentially so we've um, you know with Kevin Locko and, and Lewis Kinsella that sort of swings the balance where we have that that youthful energy but also a few calm experienced heads around it as well. Of course the Kings Lynn game itself is going to be a massive game now given the last few results. The next game is always the biggest one. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.